tobacco I've spoken about before, which is a very very nice medium tobacco. Jermaine's medium flake. Something nice and natural about it. It's a it's a good straight Virginia and it's doesn't taste unadulterated by loads and loads of aromatic additions or anything, although they say there's a bit of fruit in and citrus. The citrus, yeah possibly, because when I've smoked it in the past, I've always got a, a sort of um, orangey tone with it. fresh oranges which is nice that's probably the citrus they're talking about and funnily, look, funnily enough tonight they're picking up hints of raspberry and maybe even strawberry well, that doesn't mean to say that the overpowering the good true Virginia taste of straw and hay new mown grass, that type of Virginia association that's uh, so traditional. Very good tobacco on Germains. I don't smoke them very often but when I do I always seem to enjoy them. The rich dark flakes a good one as well. Something very smooth and sophisticated about Germains. And this medium flake, it uh, looks very yummy in the packet, it's uh, like a broken flake and it's light and dark brown, really nice, hardly have to rub it out at all. It's very satisfying and there's a sweetness with it as well, like a sugary sweetness. I wouldn't say vanilla but just plain sugar really. It's got a nice balance about it. Not particularly strong, it just about manages to get into the medium bracket. And it's very nice in the in the, the apple diplomat corn cob which uh, Ralph kindly sent to me a while back. Really, really good. Just fancied it tonight. I do like Virginia's. I'd say most of the tobaccos that I smoke are. Uh, Predominantly Virginia. But I'm open minded, I've tried all sorts. Virginia and Periques are good. A bit of early now and then, a bit of attack here. All depends on the mood that I'm in. Some people just stick to one tobacco religiously, nothing else. Couldn't do that, I like the variety. But we're all different and that's okay. Burns very nicely and evenly this too. So long as you don't push it. If you're gonna go bum bum bum, smoke it really fast then yeah it'll get a bit hot and it could even bite I would imagine but not at the speed I smoke it. But it does have a a very satisfying body to it, this tobacco. There's times in the past when I've pushed it to one side and thought, no, I want something stronger. Such as yesterday, I was smoking mainly HH Bull Kentucky and Condor Long Cut. And Bull Kentucky is quite a strong tobacco. Sometimes you just feel like a straight Virginia. And it goes so perfectly with the corn cob. I tend to ramble. Ramble along about whatever comes into my mind on the on YouTube on these clips. People have often said to me, do you you have to plan what you're saying on YouTube, you have to make a schedule, well, I'm sure some people do. 
so I'm sure some people go to great trouble, which is fine, that's what they want to do, but with me it's just the desire to promote the pipe and to share a good smoke really with you. I think those are probably the two main motivations for doing the YouTube videos. Just wanting to express the feelings about different tobaccos and see what other people think because that is one thing that if you express an opinion you're always going to get other opinions and that's the way it should be. Fantastic. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Take care and keep it smoky.